Hey, Big Tree, today we are going to be doing the pacer test. We talked about this with you guys this week during our lesson. Some of you guys haven't had our lesson yet, but this will be, uh, we'll explain it to you here so that you understand exactly what we're doing. You are going to set up your own pacer course at home. It could be in your kitchen, around the kitchen table. It could be a spot in your living room, back and forth. It could be in your bedroom, back and forth. It can be outside, back and forth. If you can find a big enough spot where you're gonna be able to hear the music and follow along. If you look at the board, we have a short track, bedroom, kitchen. If you're doing that, a shorter track, you're gonna get higher numbers. Every time it beeps, you go back to the beginning of your track. If it's short, obviously you're gonna be able to do more. If you go to a medium track, maybe you have two rooms, like a dining room and a kitchen and make it a little bit longer, it's going to be a little bit more of a middle number where you're not gonna get as many because you're running longer, but you're still getting that exercise in. If you have a long track outside, maybe in your basement, you've got a big basement, and you're running a, a long track, kind of like what we do in the gym when we do the pacer test, your numbers are gonna be smaller, but again, you're still getting that exercise in because you're running longer between each beep. So it does not matter at all which size track you pick, keep track of what number you get. The, the pacer test tells you automatically as you're running, number three, number four, five, and it keeps going all the way up to like 200 and something. Some of you will get close to that if you have a really short track that you made. Some of you will get your normal number if you have a long track like you do when you're in gym class, somewhere around 40 or 50 or 60, something like that. So all we ask is that you keep that number. You can even post it on our uh, classroom link and just say, hey, Mr. Scudder, I got 27 or Mr. Zinsky, I got 30 or whatever you wanna do. And then next time we do it again, you're gonna to try to beat your number. But the key is gonna be this. The second time you do it, you set up the same course. Because if you do a different course, your number is gonna to be totally different and it's not gonna be able to be compared to your first time. So make sure you have a course and you're able to use that same course next time. That's why outside might not be the best option because the second time we do it, if it's the middle of winter, you might not be able to go out there and run. So probably best in your basement, garage, house, somewhere, around your kitchen table, whatever you end up doing. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the actual music on. Mr. Scudder is gonna demonstrate three courses that we set up, a short, a medium, and a long, to show you exactly what it's gonna look like when you do this at home. Good luck, have fun, do the best you can as always. Right, starting line. Get ready, start. Touch the wall, back, waiting for the beat. One. Two. That's the short track, guys. He's going there and back. He comes back and he waits for that beep. Well, I see the kitchen table. Now, some people have a kitchen table, dining room table, something circular, maybe around a couch. So let's pretend that Matt is your kitchen table. Four. He's going to take his lap around it. And he's going to stop back where he started and wait for the beep. Five. Now as those beeps are going up, I'm looking at my computer. I see my counter. It's counting for me. Six. And it says the number I'm on, on as well. So I could see it and I could hear it. Seven. End of level one. All right, now he's going to demonstrate a longer track where we have two cones in the gym. He's gonna go all the way across the gym. He's gonna stop at the other cone and wait. There's the beep. Now let's talk about how do you know when you're gonna be done with the patient test? You get two chances, Ghost Boys. If I can make it, if I can make it to the other side, that's my first chance. All right. He, he didn't make it, but he's going to try again. He's going to keep going. All right, I got his okay. All right. Two times he missed the beep. That means his test is over. He's going to look at the screen and he's going to see what he got. In this case, he got 12. So he's going to write that down. He's probably going to message it to Mr. Zinsky and say, Mr. Zinsky, hey, it's Mr. Scudder. I got 12. Hopefully next time I can do a little bit better. So. Again, we have a long track Mr. Scudder showed you, 
We have a medium, which was like around your kitchen table. If that mat is a table, we'll pretend that's a table. And we have a real short track where we just have a small spot that we ran. And on the short track, we actually did back and forth for each beep instead of just one way. So those are the different options you have. Mr. Scudder, excellent job demonstrating Thank as you. always. You might say with the short tracks, hey, this is a piece of cake. I'm gonna get like a hundred. Let me just show you what a hundred looks like. I'm gonna fast forward. Here's gets, 100, I'm gonna put it to 98. It gets faster so and faster. Even if you're on a short track. 97. 98. I'm gonna run out of gas real quick. 99. It so, goes up to 247. 100. 101. Mr. Ziski, you gotta stop. Remember, you get two chances. 103. There we go. Everybody's gonna have their own individual score. You write it down, remember your course, have some fun with it, let us know how you're doing, and we'll check back with you later.